Excuse me, reality. Could you not bleed into the chat? Thank you. Are you gonna finish the uh, juggling there, Simon? Or no, they just pop out of existence. That's how it goes. Oh, there's barely nobody here, so I'm not sure how to say just hello to everybody. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, it's gonna be uploaded on YouTube, but uh, as always with the live streams. Well, not always, but usually. So, hello to YouTube. <sighs> so we're on the ship. The pirate ship, that is. So if we wear the eye patch, I do think cabin boys are allowed to wear eye patches. Well, you could make a disguise out of it to be a pirate, yar yar, mateys, and all that. Hey, Mark, Jace, I restream yo. <sighs> There's nothing else here but the Mr. T. So let's go. Or not on the, uh... Where do you think you're going, eh? Just popping out to the toilet. Wait! Yes, Captain. <laughs> Somebody just described my YouTube, apparently. I get you barely delivered, goose people, land lovers. I have, an after careful deliberation, decided I'm not going to sell you as slaves after all. In order to satisfy my desire for sadism, I'm going to be forced to have you both killed. Therefore, at midday precisely, both of you shall swing from the yard arm and. Uh, Captain. Not now, not now. I'm dealing with the prisoners. And I shall watch with great pleasure as your uh, Captain. Will you stop interrupting, please? It's quite important, Captain. I'm sure it can wait 30 seconds. Now. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I shall watch with great pleasure as your next prey and you suffer excru- I really think you ought to know, Cap'n. Alright. Buddy, that better be important. We haven't got a yard arm, Cap'n. The yard arm, you say? No, Cap'n. Why not? We've never had one, Cap'n. Right. In that case, at midday precisely, you shall suffer the horrors of the torture chamber where a hut and... Uh, Captain, we haven't got a torture chamber either, have we? No, Captain. Sorry, Captain. No yard arm, no torture chamber. Do we actually have anything dangerous on this ship? Not really, Captain. Health regulations, Captain. We've got quite a sharp spoon, Captain. Wait a minute. I've had another idea. Right, you what? There's been a change of plan. At midday precisely, the pair of you shall walk the plank into the shark in f <sighs> We do have a plank, don't we? That's not too much to ask, is it? No, Captain. It's just that... Uh... Don't tell me. It's against regulations, is it? No, Captain. It's broken, Captain. We're just having it mended now. Right. Fine. So. At midday, pre... At more like about 8 o'clock, Captain. At five past three precisely, you shall all walk the plank into the shark infested one. Not so much infested, Captain. Don't tell me there are no sharks. Wrong climate, Captain. Too cold for him. 
You see, your average shark prefers uh, yes, there any even slightly dangerous marine wildlife around here. I think there's a dolphin with a nasty disposition, Captain. Dolphins are dangerous, are they? I thought they led sailors to safety. Not this one, Captain. Leads him straight to the sharks. Got a bit of a thing going. Good. Right. Just to recap. At five past three, you shall all walk the plank into the dolphin-infested waters and be led to your dorms. Okay with you, is it? Yes, Captain. No problem with that, is there? We're not breaking any regulations or anything. No, Captain. Good. In the meantime, however, you can make yourself useful. I like to cut off your jib, lad. My old cabin boy met with an unfortunate accident a few days ago. You can replace him. Who knows, if you're any good, I might spare your life. Mate! Yes, Captain. Bring him up to my cabin. Yes, Captain. Right. Do you know what a cabin boy is supposed to do? Uh, no. Uh, no, Captain. Uh, no, Captain. Nor do I, really. I suppose you'd better talk to some of the crew. They probably know. Okay. Yes, Captain. Be afraid to roam around until you find out what to do. Yes, Captain. Right. Shouldn't you be saying, off you go, then? Or something like that. What a stroke of luck! Now all I have to do is find the mucus aid and get back to port. Hey, Cass! Gabriel! Speaking! Oh. So, what do we... He has a collection of parrots, so they're not even real. Parrots for all occasions. Christmas, Hanukkah, and Valentine's. He's half Jewish. I'm assuming. We gotta have a parrot. I mean, how, how else are we gonna say... Gonna disguise ourselves as a pirate? We got the eye patch already. Oh, there's a diary. Will the boat start stop creaking already? We get it. You're a boat or a ship, rather. Twenty fourth of June. Finally got underway with new ship. I think we'll head for the capital first to flog the loot. Twenty sixth June. Really picking up on this pirating business. Cabin boy Jim Hawkins fell overboard and drowned. Crew giving me a hard time. 29th of June. My birthday today. Received five new pairs of long johns from crew. They think they're really amusing. 1st August. Totally fed up with wisecracks about underwear. Next one of them to try it on gets it. 3rd August. Executed three crew members to set an example. The others won't dare to try it on again. 5th August. The crew grow even more subtle. I don't know which one to blame. I'm going to take it out on the two slaves we picked up in the capital. There's a postcard here. It's a postcard from Kalimari. Dear LJ, having lovely time, weather good, food excellent, met a lovely couple from down south. Wish you were here, love Captain H. P.S. This card's a lovely shot of the bay, isn't it? I wonder who Captain H. Ah, Captain Hook. Must be Captain Hook. And also... When thinking about how he opens the book and reads it, he was reading it backwards, from right to left. Maybe the captain is Japanese. 
Hey there, it's okay. And hello, Andreas. So what else do we have here? A wardrobe, apparently. He wouldn't have put the bugle in there, would he? I've caused enough hassle by opening wardrobes today. It's amazing that everything is still happening in one day. I didn't notice that there's a huge Jolly Roger on the floor there. <laughs> you would think that would be quite hard to miss, but it's actually it was pretty easy to miss. Let's take a, take a look at the crew here. His head is totally out of proportion. Is that the only thing you gotta say about that guy? A heavy duty chain and padlock. He's coiling rib. Must be a very, 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 very endless rope. That's what it is. An endless rope. Completely insignificant pirate. In other words, we don't need to talk to him. Do we? He's fast asleep. Told you so. He is precariously balanced over the edge of the ship. The gentle of nudges would knock him over. Oh, you're trying to give us an idea about this guy to get rid of him so we don't need to walk the plank into the dolphin infested waters. Yet another door. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Let down here. Fine. Here's the team. Oh, sailor's life is our life for me. Uh, hello. You must be the new captain, my boy. You got it. You already good at parts? I don't know. I've never tried. Oh. So, uh, Beatty. What's with the shades? They were the best I could do, I'm afraid. I couldn't get a hold of a proper eye patch. I feel a right idiot like this. Eye patch on. Your captain is one enormous dickhead. Tell me something I didn't know. When we agreed to take him, he told us he was Long John Silver. Turns out he's really called Long John Silver. Watch out for him, though. He can turn quite nasty. Yeah, we read the diary. Do you know how I can get off this ship? There are plenty of ways off it. Yeah? If you can swim. Yeah. Too bad we don't have the dinghy with us anymore from the swamp. Why'd you say we swap your shades for my iPads? Bitch. Really? No problem. Catch you later. There, now he has an eye patch and we got some cool shades. It's a cheap pair of sunglasses. Hey, even if they are cheap, they might be good looking. Can we talk to this pirate? He's too drunk to be worth talking to. So another insignificant pirate. So can we just move this pirate? Actually, I want to talk to him first if I can. Can I? Hello. Are uh, you the new cabin boy? Sure am. What are you doing? Excuse me. Just go away, will you? 
It's hard enough without you interfering. I'm picking up bad vibes from this guy. Yeah, the bad vibes being that we are disturbing his uh, work. So let's move him. <laughs> Don't forget to ride! Hey, we got a hammer. And nails. And the plank. It's just a normal hammer. Well, it could be a left-handed hammer. And then you ruin a statue. I'd better pick up the nails as well. I mean, if you ruin the statue, you're gonna change the timeline. Wait, that's a different name. It's a length of wood. Can we pick it up? Yep. A hammer and some nails. It's a length of wood. Okay, we got a length of wood. And they're gonna have got a hammer and some nails. Can we go up here at all? points going up there apparently not because we can't go any further well, it's at least nice nice of them to put that area there that you can actually go to for no reason I wonder if we need to go to the crows next time Oh, a parrot. A scrawny looking parrot. Not so scrawny looking bosun. He's steering the ship. Well, that's what a bosun does. They're, they're the uh, driver of the ship. Talk to him. Excuse me. You want to be the new cabin boy. And you must be the one who steers the ship. Not really. I just do what the parrot says. Like, show us your knickers. It's the latest thing in high tech. State of the art. Pirate technology. It's been specially trained by the druids to always point north. It doesn't look very state of the art to me. It's caused the captain of fortune. It takes all the fun out of Elming. I would have thought it was much fun in the first place. At least it was interesting. You know, consulting the star charts, watching the sun. Now I just look at the map, consult the parrot and go. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got the whole ship to clean by nightfall. Okay, but make sure you got this stick done. Or maybe I can get things done in a certain other way. Like swap the parrot. <coughs> a parrot that sounds like a chicken. What's that? A Pentium parrot. A what? It's a new model. It's got all the latest upgrades. Local beak, genuine lintel feathers, tracker co-processor. It's the appliance of science. But we only just got the old one. You've got to move with the times though, eh? I suppose so. But why is it falling off its perch? Just get, we got to set up its beak by, by iOS. Okay then. Or maybe it's pining for the fjords. It's a homing parrot from the poop deck. <laughs> so now that we got that changed, uh, things are gonna go well for us. Can I use the hammer on the chain? I'll take more than a hammer to get through this chain. Oh, it'll take more 
And he said, I'll take one. How about the crowbar that we still have? What exactly is that supposed to achieve? You use the crowbar to break the thing? How about that? A heavy steel boot. How about you use the crowbar on the door? Maybe I missed the on the chain? Huh? My ears are feeling a little sensitive at the moment. There are actually two doors over here. Was this the uh, captain's cabin? Yeah. So let's go to the other door. Galley? No, it's the barracks. Where's the galley? Who makes the food? Come on. Nice hammocks, though. Oh, that's the galley, I guess. Piratey stuff. Looks like a grog, 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 grog. Possibly some grog and an orange. It's a hammock full of pirate stuff. Can we pick any of it up? It's just a load of useless rubbish. If you say so. It's as sharp as my it's as it's a sharp as my wit. God damn these typos. Well, let's pick it and pick it up since you have a sharp wit. How does the uh, knife not fall back onto your head inside that hat? Hmm? There's a pirate sleeping in it. Usually they do that in hammocks, you know. It's kind of a wonder. Anything else around here that I need? Possibly not. Seems like not. I only need the knife. Now I've got a knife. That's not a knife. I've got a feeling I should go to climb up to the uh, crow's nest. I could climb up to the crow's nest if I were so inclined. Then do it! Use it! Climb it! Why the crow's nest? Holy crap! I wonder why they call it the Jolly Roger. That's actually a good question. Why do they call it the Jolly Roger? Got a, even got a weather vane. And a telescope. And a tiny telescope. What can I say? It's a telescope. It's a very tiny telescope. Can we take it? It's fixed down. Because we need to somehow pry it off. He's fast asleep. Talk to him. I'm not bored enough to talk to sleeping people yet. How about you use the coral bar on the telescope? That doesn't work. <laughs> How about the hammer? The achievement would be that we get the telescope for ourselves. Can you just use the telescope then? Use it with what? <laughs> Shades. That doesn't work. I guess he's just uh, chuckling that it, that's uh, said in every adventure game when nothing, something doesn't work. They always say that doesn't work. How about you use the plank on the telescope? Those things are not really compatible, are they? It's just an idea. Still wonder what I need to do with the uh, telescope. I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. Go ahead, ignore it. I don't care. Put some porridge in it. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? I don't know. Something. Anything. Can we move the telescope? Don't be bothered to move stuff without a good reason. Fine. Don't do anything. It's a snazzy little telescope, but it'd be nice to have it for ourselves. 
And I'm missing still missing some stuff because the nothing's happened yet. Something's supposed to happen once you get all the things done that you need to do in or in order to advance. Can I not really not talk to this uh, Mr. T? Look like, hey, tough guy. Shut up, fool. I'm really convinced that you're the guy out of the A team. I don't look, I don't look nothing like him, fool. And if you say that again, I'll break your face. You really must learn to be more relaxed. All that anger is bad for your blood pressure. At least he didn't pity the fool. Although he might. You never know. How are you? I ain't go nowhere like this. Now shut up while I'm trying to think. Well, let's ask about the welding torch that apparently we need. You don't happen to have a welding torch on you by any chance? So what if I have food? Can I burrow, burrow it? I ain't got a light. Otherwise I would've cut myself free. I think I know where I can find a light. Okay, fool. But better get back, or you is history. Is that a welding torch in your pants or is just happy to see me? It was a welding torch. Or maybe he is also happy to see me. I've got nothing to light with it. Light it with it. You're a wizard! Cast the fucking spell! I'm not th that desperate. Is it uh, not allowed to be used the magic year around? Is there some kind of a regulation? I mean, for a guy who calls himself Simon the Sorcerer, he doesn't do much sorcery now, does he? I guess that would make the game too easy. Anybody got a light? Got a Zippo? Or just a, some flint and steel? Apparently not him. Use that magnifying glass you're looking at things with. If only that was an item I could use. Maybe the telescope is an answer. I mean, it is a telescope. It worked for Guybrush 3, would he just open it, took the lenses, and then he like lit up that gunpowder with the sunlight to blow up the dam. I didn't try opening the telescope, you know. Like I said, it works for Guybrush. Why can't it not work for Simon? I didn't say he started clutching at straws already. Maybe I have, because I have no freaking idea how to get some freaking fire in here. You'd be surprised what you could do with one of these. Not really surprised you could do a lot with a welding torch. Simon himself even said that he might have an idea on how to get some light. Why don't you tell me then, Simon? Come on. Help me out here, bro. 
I'm controlling you. How about you give some tips to me? You know, quit pro pro. I get you out of trouble. You help me help you get out of trouble. Scratch my back, scratch yours. Kind of a deal. I don't think he's listening to me. What an a who? What if I move you up, out of the way? No. It's gonna just go down. Go down again. Nothing, there really is nothing here. I guess I'm missing something from the captain's cabin. So let's go in there. Like the desk. The desk is very nice. Ooh. There are fires in here, but I can't do anything with them. Yes, phone, you got something to say to me? Some retweets going on or something? Oh look, it's a retweet that I'm right now doing a live stream. What a big surprise. Okay, let's take a fine comb and comb the desert. Can I pick any of the other parrots? Just for fun? I've overtaken one. Good for you. Can I pick up the diary? Just for fun. Probably not. I'd better not. The captain might miss it. Now you won't open the wardrobe. Of course enough hassle by opening wardrobes today. Well, how about you just... Pry it open. I can't really do anything with the light here. I mean, that would have been easy to light the light torch. Light torch? Welding torch. With this fire, but apparently I cannot... Operate it. And when I tell I'm going to comb the desert, I will comb the desert. Nothing here. Yeah, yeah, let's move on, Simon. Let's move on. Let's go back in here. There might be something I missed in the... Uh, in here. Aha! A tinderbox! That's what I missed. Didn't notice that. It's an oldie worldy box of matches. I'll pick it up. The hammock is in the way. Well, then move it. I can't be bothered to move stuff without a good reason. I guess that's what the knife is for. Just cut it away. <laughs> he got scared and woke up and then fell asleep again. Wipe the sleeper. If he was he if he really was that heavy of a sleeper, he would never wake up from an from an inception. Wow. All right. So let's use the teeter box with the welding torch. I'll do that when I find something to use the torch on. Fine. Use the torch on the chain then. Ah, the captain arrives to ruin my endeavors. What you think you're doing? Um. <sighs> Just checking the door, Captain. Get away from this door, boy, or else. No problem. Good. Let's 
So if that's the place where he comes from, how about we use the plank on the door? So he won't come here to check on the door. That'll do. Also, apparently Simon is a lefty. Or maybe he's an ambidextrous. So let's get to work. Now ah, that's why we need the sunglasses. There are forging shades. Cuts through fast. I guess the chain was made out of tin. Not much of a heavy duty door if you open it that easily. Ah, the treasury, of course. And there's the mucus aid. It's a stereotypical pirate's treasure chest. Can we move it? I can't be bothered to move stuff without a good reason. It looks like it's pretty solidly shield sh sealed shut. It must have been a real mug who said crime doesn't pay. I don't think I could carry all of it. And take some of it. Just a few gold coins, you know, for prosperity's sake. Technicalities, Jace. Technicalities. It'll stay stuck. Trust me. I need these to get back home. There, we got the mucus aid. So now we can get. Now we just need to get back to Calypso's. Still nothing happened. I wonder if I can open the door. I can't. I made it up. You should say yeah, you've nailed it shut. Because that's what I did. No way. That guy is really boring. Can we talk to the parrot then? I prefer talking to birds with fewer feathers. <laughs> I get what you mean with birds. I don't want to even I don't want to exert myself unnecessarily. We use the uh, tools I don't mean pick up. Use the tools on the parrot. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? You nailed it, put so it looks up. And uh, helps out the uh, bosun. No? Fun. So, where am I supposed to go now? I guess we'll just wander about a little bit to find out what we need to do. I guess I should give uh, the welding torch back to him. I'm not going to give stuff away unless I need to. I don't think he'd appreciate my conversation. Okay, if you say so. Sorry Mr. T, but the welding torch is going to stay with us. Shouldn't be saying that to Mr. T. He's gonna kick my ass. Because he pities the fool to steal from him. I was hoping that you would torch the freaking telescope over there. Exactly, is that supposed to achieve? I do not know what to do right now because I have totally forgotten. (sighs) 
I really don't know. I got the Muga Sade. Pretty much done everything that it needs to be done here. If anybody gets an idea, let me know. Sailor's life is a life for me. It's got to do something with the parrot that I gave the bosun. Because it's not standing up correctly, I need to fix it. Like uh, Simon said that I need to... ...put in the parrot bios. What's the gum? Gotta stick the gum in it. Not use nails. Tasty gum, is it? There we go. So that should do it. Hey, it worked. We're turning around. Now all I have to do is sit back until we are in here. Till we arrive. Uh, meanwhile, I wonder where Simon is, Grandfather. He's been gone for hours. Don't worry, my dear. I'm sure he's perfectly safe. Or not. We've got for the wizard, okay? Yeah, you been a hit movie, right? Or there will be trouble. Be the capital T. You got that? He's not here. Look, Mac. We know the wizard is here, right? Just hand him over. And don't try any funny business, okay? Resistance is not a good idea. That's right. Not for you, anyway. I'm telling you, he's not here. Well... We's going to search the place, see? If we find him, then we might just let you and the girl go. Notice he said what? Otherwise... Otherwise what? Just pray it don't happen. Let's do it. Man, Calypso's in trouble. Wakey wakey, Simon. Hang on a minute. We're still at sea. I wonder what's going on. Oh, well, let's go find out about the balls then. Maybe he took a break? Your nose. <laughs> the parrot has turned, apparently. What's going on? Why are we still at sea? You know the new parrot of yours? Yeah. It directed us straight back to the capital. It's lucky the lookout spotted it before we die. Yeah. Dead luck, eh? I've got it all sorted out now, though. Oh, good. Great. Freaking fantastic. It's perfect. So we need to get rid of the spotter somehow. Let's get up to the crow's nest then. I'm sure he's awake now. So we can have a little chat with our little spotting friend. Oh, he 
she's still asleep, apparently. I'm not bored enough to talk to sleepy people yet. So we gotta cover up uh, the telescope with something. I knew I needed to do something with the telescope. Use the milk. No. Use the tinder box with the nest boy? Those things are not really compatible, are they? If you were an arsonist, you would be saying that. Can I stab him? I don't think murdering people will get me any closer to finishing. It could. It could. I mean, that would be a good way of getting uh, closer to what we need to. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? It's too big for me to carry. How about we use the uh, flag with the telescope? Use the flag. Use the magic flag with the nest boy. I think I need a little bit of help. Maybe I use the shades? Use the nest boy with the shades? What exactly is that supposed to achieve? Make it blind? Well, give me a hint, Jace, if you have an idea. I'm always open for ideas. If you haven't looked up a walkthrough, then give me an idea. I'm all... Throw them in! Whatever you can think of. Maybe I need to scare him and he drop he falls off. No. Plop the card on the telescope. Ah, of course, that's what it is. Right, right, right. Postcard telescope. Right. You got it. That is exactly what it meant was. Yep, that's adventure game logic. Totally forgot about the postcard. That's my reasoning why I wasn't thinking of using it. Because I totally forgot the postcard. There. Will it work now? I think I'll take a nap until we arrive here. Another nap, huh? Oh, if all it was that easy, Simon. If only. <laughs> Later that day... I see another ship, and everybody's gone. Hmm... Looks like another ship! I wonder if they're friendly. <laughs> that is loud water. Days later, great. We lost everything. I really do think that's your only spell that you know, drying yourself up. My inventory! Yep. All gone. All gone. <coughs> well, at least we will get a shovel. It's the business end of a shovel. You mean the spade? Well, we have half of a shovel. I need to find a handle for it. And there is that guy. Hey! You appear to have found something of mine. I've just been shipwrecked, you see, and I... Hey, you said listening to me. It would be seem that there is to be no reasoning with this guy. 
Well, kind of, you're kind of right, but also kind of wrong. There is some kind of reasoning to be done with it. A good traveler always knows where his tower is. What is this, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Don't panic! Because this might be. Instead of Arthur Dent, we got Simon the Sorcerer. You would really think that it, you would have to get the sunscreen from here, but apparently not. It's right there, it looks like. Yeah, pick it up. Lesson in what not to wear in public. Oh, come on, he's from Minnesota. Excuse me. Look, pal. I'm usually totally against violence on the grounds that I'm not very good at it. However, unless you return, that is, which is mine, fairly sharpish, I will not be held responsible for my actions. Please, can I have my mucus aid back? Please, please, please! Or it's not yours. What? I said it's not yours. Once it gets washed up here, it becomes mine. But... It's very simple. But... Excuse me. Something must be done about this. How about a trade? Uh, either the towel or the shovel. <sighs> Off to the jungle we go, into Monkey Island. I mean, whatever island this is. It's him again. Hey! The weirdo boy. I think he wants to be new. The weirdo boy. Apparently, the beachcomber is only interested in items, not people. <coughs> he wants the balloon. Alright, weirdo. What's it worth? The shell for the balloon, eh? Okay. Let's try to pick up the balloon. It might upset the kid too much if I took it. I'll then give the balloon to the kid. Hey kid, would you like that balloon? I think he already expressed it that yes, he would like the balloon. Quite the little chatterbox, isn't he? I'll take that as a yes. Ah, there he goes. Eat your heart out, please, fog. <laughs> you think the kid is going to go on, on that balloon around the world in 80 days? Actually, I might. If he gets the strong wind going and all that, and no troubles uh, all along the way, he might actually do it. It says Chewumba Wumba. That must be the name of the island. Or maybe it's the Chewumba Wumba Cafe where everybody falls down but they get up again. So a cave entrance. Not really sure where to go first. I guess I'll go to the cafe. Check it out. Or not. I'm not walking past that dog. He looks too fierce. Maybe we can find a bone and throw it out of the screen and he'll follow it. Oh wait, this is not dark seed. Damn. It looks pretty fierce. I don't speak dog. Everybody speaks dog. Oh, you're just gonna go, oozy, woozy, woozy, woozy. They understand you. So, what do we have here? Other than a very moist cave. to be nothing but a bottle. A very unremarkable whiskey bottle. Can we pick it up? <laughs> what the hell's your game? Eh? I'm on holiday. 
Did you get the message on the answering machine? Uh, no peace. I get no bloody peace at all. I should have listened to my mother. What did your mother say? What she said was, Don't get a job in the public sector, Keith. You'll never hear the end of it. Keith? You got a problem with that? No, 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 typical anorak image attached to it at all. Good. Now, how can I help you? What is your job exactly? Papa G. Uh, you know, your wishes by command, that sort of thing. You want to grant me wishes? I could. But that might be a bit of a problem at the moment. Why is that? You may have observed that I'm currently living in a whiskey bottle. Consequently, I'm not feeling totally at my best RE, which is granting a genie. Surely whiskey would be more appropriate. Anyway, I'm making no guarantees. What you want? I wish I had finished the whole game. I wish the sad outfit I'm forced to wear was the height of fashion. I wish I had finished the whole game. That would be cheating. So? You never can do. It's against regulations. Anything else you want? I wish I had my mucosate back. Sorry, can't steal anything. It's in the GD handbook. And that's a bit poor. More than my job's worth. Anything else you want? Genie, I wish for you to make me a prince. Well, I'd love to help you, but... But what? I'd have to pass you on to higher authority for a wish like that. I've only been genieing for a couple of months. I used to be an actor, you know. Great. Anything else you want? Nice reference to Aladdin. I wish this sad outfit I'm forced to wear was the height of fashion. Even I can't accomplish that. Just my luck. Anything else you want? Forget that. I can't think of anything I want at the moment. So it's me. Quite the genie, isn't he? Can't really be that funny, can't make any funny uh, impressions. And he lives in a whiskey bottle. Kind of a rundown genie. And a detached house for marine life. Well, only a couple of kinds of marine lives. I totally remember that there's a dog in that path. I really do sometimes have the memory of a scuttlefish. Not a goldfish, a scuttlefish. Why is there a pimp in the middle of a jungle? To anything, man. Yo, what's happening, man? How's it hanging? Word up, safe man. Sword. You up for anything, man? That's a sharp suit, brother. Can I buy it? Word, man. I don't get it. Well, he's a hard guy to get. Word, man. Word up. You up for anything, man? Any what? Uh, never mind. What a strange man. Word, man. Word, 
brother, Garn87. Short name, brother. He actually does that. <laughs> Sorted. I got some C, man. C. Caffeine tabs, man. Keep you going all day, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> word. Word. Word up. Word, man. What word? Word? Word. How much are they? Three bungas each, man. I haven't gotten any bongos. Maybe later, man. Yeah, maybe later we'll buy some salmon and caffeine tabs. And we got also got a whistle here. I think it's a dog whistle. Oh, let's pick it up. We might be using against the dog. Swanky music, don't end the dialogue. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get back to him and listen to more of that swanky tune later. Nice way of uh, typing Q. Anyone can enter? Oh, actually, is that a woman or a man? Can't really tell. Three bongas prize for anyone who can do 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters of what? And I'm gonna enter a roll up! The limbo competition judge. Oh, limbo. Hmm. Excuse me. Would you like to enter the competition? Sorry. Would you like to enter? What do I have to do? It's simple. Just get under the bar over there without anything touching the ground. I have to fly under? Except your feet, smart ass. Right you are. Win three pongas price money, just go under the bar and that word record under 10 centimeters. He's in a hole in the ground. You'll get stuck in the limbo! Would I like to enter a competition? <laughs> Would you like to enter? Okay then. Off you go then. Apparently I can't go. Simon won't go. For some reason. Well, we'll enter once we have... Well, we do have a reason to go to enter it, but I don't know how to do it yet. I don't want to talk to the dealer. I'll talk to the dealer once we get the three pong, the three bungas. Do we even want to know what the hell's happening here? He's tied to a rock. You should be asking what the hell's to all these devices and why he's there. Uh, you've got to admire these backwards cultures. They certainly know the score when it comes to torturing people. Not really sure if that's what's going on here. Or maybe it is. Hey! How's it hanging? Oh, very abusing, I'm sure. Some sort of bizarre relaxation therapy. <laughs> it's people like you that really make being tortured lose its sting. Why are you being tortured? It's my turn. 
Okay. What's the point of having an expensive torture machine if no one ever does uh, anything wrong? I don't know. We take it in turns to be tortured. Otherwise, it'd be a waste of money. I suppose that's primitive culture for you. Kinda makes sense when he says it like land. I mean, if you have the device, use it. So, is this the battery for the whole torture device or something? It doesn't appear to be generating. According to the sign, this is an electricity generator. Which isn't generating. Can we use it? With the towel? I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. Doesn't seem to be anything we can do with it. Well, I'll come back later. I don't think that's a hamster operated generator. It didn't seem like it. Besides, we're in a jungle. I'm sure it's a rat operated. Could use the electric tortoise now. Well, if we had the electric tortoise and tortoise, we wouldn't need to use the generator. Because the tortoise would be generating the electricity already. Alright, let's use the whistle. I don't want to attract the attention of that dog. So we need somebody else to use the whistle? I've got an idea on who we could use it on. How about we make a trade if you could say it for a whistle? I'm not going to give it stuff away unless I need to. How about we give him the shell? No way! What if I need it later? Oi! Four eyes. Four eyes. Nice anorak. It's fine. I found it. You can't have it. I don't want it. It's mine! Everything on the page is mine, from shells to glowing canisters. Especially shells. I like shells. I know this sort of game. What do you want for the Bukesaid? I don't. It's mine and I'm keeping it. I think some sort of alternative stratagem is required. Preferably involving violence of some kind. Well, we do have the shell. Why not give that to him? Fine, don't make you things easy for me. There's no entrance uh, through this area. Fine. There's only one way to go into the jungle. Attacking this area now. What if we use the whistle here? I don't want to attract the attention of that dog. So I need to use it somewhere else. Did Mr. T sink with the ship? Probably. Or maybe he escaped like the, all the others before um, we got them shipwrecked. Much of a dog whistle if it doesn't work. Can I talk to the guy who is in the hall? Excuse me. Yes. What's going on? Talk to the guy with the megaphone. I 
it just the just a hole? Right. Quite the scoreboard. Apparently, the height to be beaten is 10 centimeters. I also saw somebody in there. Yep, there's a face in there. Hi, Mum! <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes the humor just works. It's those little things in life, you know. So how do I get rid of the dog? Let's move the liver. Liver. Whatever. Looks like this lever turns the machine on and off. Well, let's turn it on. Nothing happens. How goes it? Get lost. Now, now, there's no need to pull that kind of thing. When my shift up here finishes, you're gonna be in a whole heap of trouble, kid. Why the hostility? He hasn't done anything to you. Yet. But still, why the hostility? Disturbing your torturing, I guess? Jeez. So can I open the generator? What a strange suggestion. It's an idea. Uh, use the shell. Use the towel. Use the shovel. It's not much use without a handle. Doesn't appear to be generating. That's why I'm, uh, what I'm trying to fix here, man. That is a loud whistle. And usually, dog whistles are supposed to be quiet. I kind of remember that I need to get flattened to be able to get through the limbo and win. I thought thought the went but the whole I did the whole the day Let's go to talk to the genie. No, I don't think I can put anything on the beach. Or maybe that was the way of doing it. But I'm gonna go talk to the genie first. Because there was a wish that I didn't do just yet because I wanted to explore everything else in the island. So let's a rub rub rub. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. Girls. I'll overlook the marked lack of respect this time. I want my wishes now. Okay then, what you want? I wish you were in such a useless genie. I've only been at it for a couple of months. I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ah, forget it. got a feeling that I need to plug up the bottle and bring it with me and transfer him into a better bottle or something. Another container in order to making a better genie. Can I look at the beach itself? No. How about we use the shell with the beach comber? I think I'll choose to draw that idea. How about you use it now? Use the towel on him? Make make it make him think that it's night time. Give him the whistle. Oh boy, it's one of those moments again. When I have no freaking idea. No freaking freaking frack. Oh fuck. No, 
way, even being on the same beach as this geek is enough to reduce my sleep, Fred. Did I know that you had street cred, cred of any kind? There's absolutely nothing on the beach here. Still need to find a stick to get a shovel. Maybe I've missed a stick here somewhere. That's the cave and ah, wooden pole. That's what I need. This here. It's a pearl made of wood, surprisingly enough. So how about we combine... I'm sorry. Combine these together and we get a shovel. Maybe that's what the P Beach Caller wants. It's now a complete shovel. Or maybe we can use the shovel at the limbo? Why am I even going to the limbo if I think that wouldn't even work? I mean, I'm just gonna try it anyway, apparently. My mind is saying, go back to the beach, Gomer, but my hands are saying, no, transfer It's now a complete shot. I mean, I can't even use it here. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? I can't even use it here. Back we go, to the beach. I did tell you, the mind was right, but it wasn't. I wonder what kind of a dog that is supposed to even be. A saber-toothed bulldog? It certainly looks like it. It does actually remind me of the dog from Dark Seed, so maybe that's a reference. You never know. Quite the obscure reference too, if it is. I mean, hardly anybody knows about Dark Seed. It's one of those obscure games, anyway. It was quite popular though, back in the day, because of the HR Geiger. I mean, H.R. Giger art that was used in the game. Why can't I hit the guy with the shovel? Oh goody, you can make a sound castle. So I just needed to use the shovel here. Okay. That makes sense. Since I didn't get a shovel, why not just start using it? Several hours of shoveling later. Ellipses. That's quite the castle. A masterpiece if I do say so myself. And uh, the idea for this was... Sometimes I amazed myself with my ability. I'm sure you used magic a little bit. It's quite a long way down. How about you just jump in there? Here's the hole with the towel. Yep. Yep. Now we use the shell with the towel. There we go. Oh, I wonder if he is going to go and get the shell. I guess we need to leave the beast for him to do that. Yep. So let's get out of here and come back in. Let's uh, get return to this area in three, two, one. No, he's still not going there. I guess we need to tell him, yeah. Hey, there's a really interesting looking shell on the other side of the beach. Really? Yeah, check it out for yourself. He's happy. That'll teach him. That's 
funny. I didn't hear a splash. Splash! Oh. Oh, now we got our mucosate back. Did Simon just give it a kiss? You appear to have fallen down a deep hole. However, could that have happened? Thanks for looking after my stuff. What about my shoes and things? Oh yeah, hang on. <laughs> now Simon, that wouldn't be a very nice thing to do now, would it? Ah, that weirdo deserves to suffer. Now's your chance to really get your own back. Simon wouldn't do that. He's a nice boy at heart. Not really. What do you know, wet pants? Let's put the little kid in intensive care. <laughs> Remember, pal, don't mess with the big boys. If we really wanted to be nasty, we'd also bury him in the sand. I think one sun castle is enough for any beach. Well, there's actually two if you can give you notice that this is also called a sand castle. Well, we got the mucus aid big. Now we need to get rid of the dog. We need to win the limbo. We gotta find a better place for a better living space for the genie. Any ideas? Anybody got any? I guess the dog can hear it from the other, the other screams. I doubt where he's gonna be of any help to us. Oh. Hmm. I wish I was back at Calypso's shop. Alakazim, Alakazam, Alakazum. I don't think this is Kansas. Mike Wachowski, what are you doing here? Excuse me, pal. Do you know how to get to Calypso's Magic Emporium? Translation? No, but I'm going to have to search your body cavities. I can see we understand each other. So this is custom service. Help! Whoops. Whoops. Some freaky green splat was about to stick a rubber glove up my... And all you can say is whoops! Sorry? What's the matter with you? It's the whiskey! It's gone straight to my head! Right. I'd better find some way to sober him up. The caffeine tabs! Yep. You need to get those caffeine tabs. And also, right at the beginning, when we got to that alien part, there was the monolith from Space Odyssey float on the front. So we need to get rid of the dog. I don't want to attract the attention of that dog. It's gotta be something that I'm missing on the screen. That will attract the dog away from there. A nice windpipe would be good right about now. Just set up the windpipe, put the whistle in front of it, and let it blow every now and then to get the dog's attention. And the other thing is that we need to win at the limbo. Use the shovel here. What exactly is that supposed 
to achieve. You make a hole under the ground and then just walk. That would be cheating, I know. But in this world, it might have worked. If anybody gets an idea, do let me know. How low can you go? Hopefully under 10 centimeters. Hey, Nuro. I don't think we can use the uh, whistle other than just use it. Can't put it anywhere, apparently. Unless we give the whistle to him. No way, what if I need it later? Yeah. That's what I thought. Excuse me. Would you like to enter the competition? Sorry. Would you like to enter? I can't. My back's giving me jib. You're supposed to bend at the knees. I was only having you on. I'll give it a try. Of course, then. Yeah, I'll give it a try, and he's not even trying. Can't do anything here. on what we need to do and how to do it. Must be missing something. I mean, I surely am. Must be missing something on some screen. A shrinking potion, if only. Not really a potion that I need. I do remember that I need to that I do get flattened somehow. Can I use the mucus aid on the generator? Will be a waste of the item that I actually need. Any further? I don't remember, Jace. I don't remember. I also still wonder how to get rid of this dog with the whistle. Try something stupid. Just throw it in, man. Just throw it into the hole. Can we move the castle? Idea? Like I said, I'm always open for ideas if I get stuck. No need to go straight forward to a walkthrough or a hint system. Just let's put our stupid heads together. And just how am I supposed to do that? You take the whistle on your hand 
and then you extend your hand with the whistle on it and you hand it over to the dog. That is how you give items to others. You have been doing it throughout the whole game already. Why can't you not give it to the dog? I'm sure the dog would have had a lot of fun with it. I've got to be missing something. Something very obvious. I can't do that. I need the mucus aid. It is the item that gets Simon home. This is the MacGuffin of the whole game. Pick the dog up? I don't think I can pick it up. <laughs> well, let's try. Let's just give it a go. He turned the dog into his own dog. That's the dog from the first game, Calypso's dog. It's currently in its portable state. Good for you, Simon, actually using magic. There's Simon the Sorcerer logic for you. Not sure what I'm most uh, disturbed about this place. Uh, this is a cafe where everybody's sleeping or that hideous looking monster of a woman of a proprietor of the whole place. I think I should be disturbed about everything that's happening in here. He's sleeping like a baby. He's sleeping like a log. He's sleeping like a... Uh, Ran out of sayings there. She looks like the waitress from hell. I concur. I gotta get ya! I don't know. What did you got? Well, we got decaf. Yeah? That's it. You want some? What's it like? Well, it's pretty strong stuff. I can't get enough of it. You want one? Sure. With milk and two sugars. We ain't got none of that stuff. You need to have it eat or not at all. Alright. I'll give it a whirl. It does the superstars good to relax every once in a while. She had the cup the wrong way around at first. I got a feeling it's not the cleanest cup around. Don't sip it! We're supposed to be drinking it. Oh great, she spat it right back in there. There you are! I want a special blend that rolls off the choices beans! Thanks. <laughs> Why did I give her that voice? I feel sleepy. Well, that's usually when you can drink decaf. Meanwhile, at the Fortress of Doom. Yeah. Taking another, another whiz in there? Or something else? Run! Yes, Master! I think I'm weakening. I don't think I can hang on much longer. Are you sure you know exactly what to do? Yes, old trusting master. Everything is going perfectly. I love it when a plan comes together. What are you, Hannibal now? Master! I think it's happening! I can feel it. I can't hold on much longer. I'll... Back. 
not worry old diseased one. We'll have you back in no time. Several hours later. Master! Master! I need uh, something from her, I think. No more decaf, though. And none of the diseases that she might be carrying. Uh, how about I use the dog in here? On her. Ah, no. Use the whistle. Wakey, wakey, everybody. And nobody woke up. Talk to her again. Hi. Hello. What can I get you? You got any cappuccino? I can plan in through a straw if you like. Forget I asked. Hi. Hello. What can I get you? Really good shrink. This game is doing my head in. Have a cup of decaf and relax instead. But I don't want another cup. <clears throat> well, I'll save it for later. At least we got another cup of uh, coffee. It's a special blend and roast. But it's not the thing that we need to clear the genie's head with. Because it's decaf. We need caffeinated. And for that we need the pills from the dealer dude. And for that we need the bungus. And for that we need to win at limbo. And for that we need to be flat. And for that we need to tort the uh, torture guy. God damn, there's a lot of things to do in order to get one thing to another. Ugh. At least I have, we have now the means and ways of getting this to work. We got the dog. Stay. Now let's use the whistle. Not really sure what happened there, but apparently something happened. Hmm. Nothing's happening. I guess we need to keep it turned off for now. So let's use the whistle again to generate power. You are already are flat. You are 2D, so he needs to become 1D, and we need to be one line. Yeah. Why is this not working properly? I guess I'm missing something. One gold power generator. I guess um, we already did it, so let's talk to the guy. I don't think I'll bother with him. He's too bad-tempered. You 
got to admire these backwards cultures. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Let's turn. I don't want to insert myself unnecessarily. So let's uh, use it again. Just to see what happens. I wonder how the machine even works. Anybody's got any idea on what we're supposed to do? What else we're supposed to do here? Just sitting there. Can we pick him up again? I'd better not. It might annoy him. Maybe it can. Why didn't I think of trying it? I don't know. Yeah, that's how you do it. There we go. So the first item was a stinky sock, then it's a feather for a tickling. Bad math. No, blackboard scratching. That can be annoying. You know, scratching nails or a sharp object on a blackboard. Done now, mister. How about I give you the whistle? I'm not gonna give stuff away unless I need to. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Probably nothing, but. I was just curious, you know. He would have flanned us in the end. He promised to attack us after his turn was over. Do I need to torture him enough until he gives up? <laughs> to me, the Blackboard is scratching is not the worst sound. I mean, if you want to torture me with some scratching sounds, either do the uh, fork and knife against the plate, or just any metal scratching against metal. Those are the noises that I really hate. And apparently Simon is going on the floating guru routine. the man wet hands on an inflated rubber balloon eh. I really do wonder what I, I we must be missing something here Anybody got any ideas? I sure don't. I mean, how are we supposed to win here if I can't go flat?
Oh, right. That's it. Everybody's distracted. It's all in the knees. Everybody was distracted by the torture sounds that we just jump over. Time to claim my prize, I reckon. And they... <laughs> what hidden talents will I uncover next? Ugh, the solution was a lot easier than I thought. And also really stupid, when you think about it. But he does make a lot of noise when you torture him. Well... <laughs> well, time to get more of that swanky music. I got the cash, man. Safe. At least we got a little, little bit of it. So much for the, the flat Simon theory. Yeah. The solution was a lot easier than we thought. But you sometimes you just think too much of a hard way. That's just what I remembered and I remembered wrong. It's been years since I played this game. It's a, it's a wonder that how many, how much of the game I actually do remember. And there's one mistaken memory. So let's put the caffeine tabs into the coffee. And now we give the coffee to the whiskey bottle. Pour it right in. And now we talk to the bottle. feeling now much better if you could speak a bit more quietly it would help ready for wish get on ting go on then I wish I was back at Calypso's shop Alakazim Alakazam Alakazoom There we are. Freaking finally. Finally, Simon can go home. Um, anything happened while I was away? What on earth are you dribbling about? It's no good. You're going to have to take that gag off. I haven't got all day. It doesn't suit you anyway. My god, you're back! They've taken Alex! They've taken my granddaughter! So? How's the wardrobe coming on? I've got the mucus aid. You must go and rescue her! I can't imagine what terrible torture she must be going through. Never mind, she's a big girl now. I'm sure she can look after herself. So let's get the wardrobe powered up and I can get out of this crazy place. But what about Alex? Sordid has her in his evil clutches. He's going to use her for his perverse experiments. Sordid? It must have been him who sent the water to get you. Typical master villain. Bloody will coming back from the dead just when you least expect it. What are you going to do? Hmm. I think, given the circumstances, that it's not really any of my business. But... So I'll just be off, if that's all the same to you. But... Good luck with the baddie bashing. But what about Ang? See you around. I suspect sabotage. 
I thought you might do this. So I took the liberty of removing a vital component as an insurance policy. Damn. You can you can have it back when my do granddaughter is safely back here. Alright. Not that I have any choice. Good. Good. Now I expect you were wondering how you are going to get there. Not really. Allow me to introduce you to Masala. I wondered when the lion was going to turn up. Does he do tricks? He used to be Alex's pet. You can ride on him to sword its lair. It's a bit unoriginal, but I suppose he'll do. Good luck, Simon! Just one last thing. Yes? Would you mind untying me, please? You're a wizard, aren't you? Yes, but... Untie yourself, then. But... I can't do it without my spell book. Right, Lion. Let's start by establishing who's boss. That's clear up. Let's clear that up, then. And lead on. And thus began Simon's long and arduous journey through dark and treacherous lands. It was a journey on which he has to encounter many strange and wonderful things. They were also bloody cold. From the frozen waste to the barren desert, he journeyed day and night. Pausing only to scrape the sand out of his nose. Braving the murky deaths, he ventured into the sea of despair. It's alright to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. Finally, his journey took him to the area known only as Hell. Um, I think we should have gone left at that last junction. Uh, maybe right? This can't be right. You can stop this texture mapping beasts. <laughs> Emerging at last from the terrible place, Simon and his new friend entered the Valley of Doom. Friend? I wouldn't be here now if he hadn't glued my feet to his back. At least you stay on him then. Oh, Goblin Camp. Great. Bless it up, your lot. Big Wiz sent us this earlier today. Does anyone know who this is? Is it your mob? <laughs> Shut up, Lieutenant Snot. This is the wizard who is coming here to kill the Big Wiz. Him? He too little. Big Wiz turned him into squashed pulp. <laughs> Lieutenant, I tell you not to say stupid things. You each can find two barracks. Yes, Captain. If you see this human, then report it to me immediately. The big quiz has got special plans for him. You in the whole heap trouble. I wonder if I might be allowed to a telephone call. Probably not. No, oh, Alex is here. And yet again, we lost all of our items. I've been only doing a two-hour live stream. It's gonna go for a longer. Because we're so close to the end. I'm not gonna stop here. Oh, Simon, you're awake! Did anyone get the number of that donkey cart? Your rinse wind now? Where am I, anyway? You're in a dungeon in a big castle. 
A little bird in a blue robe brought you here. That doesn't sound like Usordi. What are we going to do? I don't know. Looks like we're stuck here. How about a game of I Spy? Can you tie me first? Are you sure you wouldn't rather... Slip into something more comfortable? I'd be a lot happier if I weren't tied. No, oh, alright then. Why do I always get the boring ones? A third rate damsel in distress. Well, let's talk to poor Alex. I think I'd better figure out the way out of here first. Okay. It's an extremely serious door. Uh, hello? What a surprise. It's locked. I could really do with a hair grip or something to get it open. How handy. I'll have this, have this done in no time. These things are absolute double. If you know what, are you, what you're doing. Is there a problem? Problem? Why should there be a problem? These things can't be done instantly, you know? So why don't you make yourself useful and do some sewing or something? Finally. Can we go now? We? You're staying here so you don't slow me down. But I thought you cared about me. Don't flatter yourself. God damn. Ta da! No time to explain. Take this and get out of here. Harry! What do I do? Uh, just fiddle with the dials. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. It's not every day something like that happens to you. Still, I'm at least uh, free now. I wonder what happened to the other Simon. He becomes you in the future! Sort of, sort of, so to speak. Future, past, future thing. Future stuff. With the future. The goblins drink. Oh, there was a goblin. I thought I was looking at the guard. Well, let's uh, take his drink. I don't want the a goblin's goblet. He's sleeping. And there's another goblet. Can we take this goblin then? I don't want the goblin's goblet. Seems like they just recently painted this sign. Can we go this way? So this is the goblin's camp. It's secluded hut. The Tower of Doom! Dark woods. Let's go to the secluded hut. Have I stumbled across an international geek convention or something? Who are you? The name's Simon. My friends call me Simon. What do you want? What's with all the soda bottles? You get this through a lot of them in two days. We come up here for a weekend to play apartments and accountants. 
To play what? It's an exciting role-playing game. Set in a world of real estate, accountants, and technology. You mean it's sort of like Dungeons and Dragons? What's so interesting about Dungeons and Dragons? That's just real life. In this game, you get to be DJs, politicians, and Danny Baker. I think we'd better get some... I think we better get started. Can I watch? No problem. Just try not to disturb us, okay? Whatever. Okay, right. Has anyone, everyone got their characters sorted out? Yeah! Let's do a quick character rundown then. My guy's called Scott and he's a 4th level student. My character's David, he's a 2nd level rugby player. I've got Rupert, the 6th level computer hacker. I'm playing Nock and he's 9th level soldier. Alright, do you all remember what's going on? We've all been captured by fascists and police and accused of penguin smuggling. That's right. Okay, you're all locked up in a cell waiting trial. What are you going to do? Oh, we are going to not uh, talk, not do all the voices here. <sighs> so we, we got soda. A lot of it, apparently. Unlimited amount of soda. So let's take some. I picked up a straw as well. Oh, you never know when you need a good straw. Let's get out of here. This is getting too, too geeky for me. Hey! I wonder how that little mutant got here. How about the balloon that you gave him? Did that kid just eat a rock? He seems hungry. Can we give him the soda? Get your laughing gear around this. As soon as the animation begins, we can get our laughing gear on. There we go. Funny ha ha, I guess. I guess I forgot to shake. The woodworms are back. Great, I can do my high pitched voices. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be anyone here. Can I help you, me? Uh. Who said that? Oh no, it's another load of bloody woodworm. You guys give me trouble or something? Steady on, Rocky. Do you know what you called us? Bloody woodworm, you said, as if we were balloon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything about it. He's the one that's going to be bloody when I'm finished with him. You'll be spinning off teeth for a week. Yeah, like I'm so scared. Oh, mommy, mommy. Rocky, remember your asthmatic weather potential. Use the benediction, Rocky. Shake a blur for a rip everywhere, Rocky. Is this some sort of a joke? Come on, Ben! Read the spirit rules! Put him up! Rocky, violence would solve anything! Give the petition a chance before we start direct action! You're right! You're right! You were lucky, pal! Enough of this idle banter! What's going on here? Well, uh, we, uh, it's a cover of our extremist equal rights movement! It's not in the least bit belittling or anything! We'll just try to make ends meet before assuming our rightful place in society. 
What are you doing? Carving ornamental figurines for the tourists. Do you want one? What sort of an idiot would come on holiday here? Lots of people come here. Many of dwarves really popular at this time of year. What about sordid? Nothing better than a power class megalomaniac to attract the tourists. They wear, they wear I've seen the Fortress of Evil t-shirts. That's a wood coming. Alright then, I'm sure it'll look lovely on the vandal piece. You'll have to supply the wood. The stuff you get around here is really terrible. I'll see what I can do. Yet again, we have to provide the wood for them to use. And if anyone was, well, if anyone was thinking, no, those voices are not that hard to do. The toughest part is always thinking of those voices on the on the fly. Who's there? E I O. What is the newt? I I I. That's what I said. Ear of Newt. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Yeah, I know. I see. It's a boy dressed up like a wizard in here. A boy? Where? Who are you? What? What did you say? This could go on all day. I think we should eat him. <laughs> Let's put him in a stew. I love boy stew. Let's put him in a stew. That's what I just said. But I'm not tired. What? Huh? So if you can't tell, the one on the left doesn't have any teeth, so she cannot speak well. The one on the middle is uh, hearing impaired. And the one on the right is uh, sight impaired. Uh, you're uh, facing the wrong way. Am I? So it would seem. Better? It'll do. What do you come here for, boy? I get a kick out of mysterious caves. You must be a tourist, then. There's good eating on tourists. Yes, uh, uh, yes, you will. Let's have a look at it. Eh? Oh, I'd say it's personality that counts. What the hell is going on? What do you mean? Is this another carefully interwoven regal legend? Yeah, the green I hey, hey, you witches. We are famous because one of us is short sighted, one of us is deaf, and one's got no teeth. What on earth is that? It's all part and parcel of witching these days. You've got to have a gimmick or you'll never get anywhere. Anyway, why you have you visited the lair of the witches of Grey? And if your name's Percy, then you can bugger off. There haven't been any Gorgons around here for years. Percy. Percy Jackson? No, I can't be Percy Jackson. And if they're talking about Gorgons, was there a Greek legend with Percy? After Gorgons? They might be mixing up with Jason. Have you got anything to help me deal with Sordid? Sordid? Who's sordid? You can't miss him, he lives in the tower in the volcano. What volcano? Are you bl- Forget I asked. You'd better be running alone now, boy! The witches of the are too busy for gossiping. 
Oh, Perseus. Right, of course. You got, you spelled it right. Perseus. As in Perseus. Kinda interesting that they call him Percy. <laughs> How's the potion coming along? Not very well, I'm afraid. Our disabilities are proving to be a bit of an obstacle. Can I help? Not unless you can work miracles. Adventure playing directive 213 clearly states whenever you meet any witches then you're bound to need a secret potion from them. I just wonder what kind of a potion we need. I'd better find some way to, of helping them make this potion. Well, let's start looking. I wonder what we're even going to have to look for. We didn't even ask what kind of a potion they could make. But I'm gonna pick up a woodworm. I don't think it fit in my hat. You don't think a woodworm would fit in your hat? Well, at least we found the cat. He's scarbered. What the hell is scarbered? I'm sure it means something that he's scary and scared of or something. What are piranha plants doing here? Who, the, who have they killed? An eye of nude or toad? <laughs> it's used to for spraying plants when it's full. There's some funky music going on here. Apparently, those big plants are called Eetus felinus and secrete a sedative. Saliva. Eat the spleenus, huh? So we need to catch the cat. Why do we need to catch the cat? Why do we need to cat? Why do we need to feed the cat to them? Come on, it's just a kitty cat. Big, horrible, hungry-looking plants. Um, hello. Dance. Okay, let's go get some more soda from these guys. I need to do something. Hey, there's the cat. There goes the cat. Damn. I wonder when I can be able to catch the cat. Do they have anything uh, wooden in here other than their conversation and gameplay? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Take that bird. Nah, feed me Seymour is too easy. It's too overused. Everybody goes for feed me Seymour anyway when they see plants like that. It's just too easy. We gotta be more original than feed me Seymour. Feed me Seymour. But I'm hungry. Feed me. Is there anything in the cave, actually, that I could have gotten? Let's take a look around. A witch, a witch, and a witch. Which witch is the witch witch? She's thin to be challenged. She's orally challenged, i.e. she can't hear properly. She's visually challenged. She's the only one we can talk to. Apparently, I'd better find some way of helping them make this potion. Give them the soda? I'm not gonna give stuff away unless I need to. Is there anything on the shelves? They've got an interesting bucket catcher, if that's what it is. Boil and toil and toil and trouble, blig and blig and blig and blig. 
<laughs> what do you expect me to actually know that rhyme thing? It's a marathon. That's an American thing. Not Finnish. We don't have any witches here in Halloween. We have witches when it's Easter. Yeah, you heard me. Easter. That's when we have witches. Well, there's the cat. How do I capture the cat? I just pick it up. Nope. I'll have to catch it first. That's what I thought. And what should I feed the little kid here in the woods? I'm sure it's the soda, but I gotta do something with the soda first. Move the soda? What a waste of time and energy. What if I use the soda in the sprayer? That doesn't work. <laughs> so funny. Use the straw with the soda. Now it's an empty bottle. I think it was in Macbeth by Shakespeare, the witch's chant. Probably was. At least it was one of Shakespeare's plays that had it. That much we do know. Almost looks like I could take one of these bottles or something. But I can't. Can I talk to the one with no teeth? Okay. Starting to run out of ideas again. <sighs> Gotta find some wood for the woodworms. Gotta find some kind of a drink for the kid. Gotta find some chemical for the sprayer to get rid of the plants. I haven't really even tried to go in here because I've got I've got the idea that they wake up if I try to go in. Wait. Yes. A uh, friend of the uh, hates not. What is it we say again? It's a uh, friend or uh uh so. Uh, ah, so you is admitting it then. I was hearing it. You can't come in now. But I... We's just following orders. So get lost or else. See? We need to put something in their goblets. So we can get rid of them. Can you use the chemical sprayer on the goblet? nothing in the chemical sprayer anyway. <laughs> Only four places that we can go to. I wonder what would happen if I tried to get through here. Absolutely nothing. Apparently. <laughs> but I can't even go through. I can't get into the castle. What the hell? I guess I need to go through the go goblin camp to get in there. Doesn't make any sense. But hey, it will have a it will have a use for us. idea. 
What if we use the chemical sprayer on the cat? Nope. Actually, I have an idea. Just realized. Huh, the cat is not in here. Okay, I'll just go somewhere else first. The cat is still not in here. I just had an idea for it. Come on, where's the cat? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Anybody seen the cat? Did it run back in here? Nope. I'll try the soda for the goblins. As soon as I can do the idea for the cat that I have. There it is. Now let's close the door. How about that? Now the cat tries to run and... Bang. As easy as that. We've got a cat. Pick up another soda while we're at it. I've put the empty bottles back. Good for you. So they can recycle them. I haven't even read any of the stuff that they've been saying. Because I don't care. So, oh, let's feed the cat to the things that want the cat. Oh, you put your teeth back into your mouth. Even I'm not that cruel. Good. So we got the false teeth or saliva. Red is back. Right, red. So we got some plant saliva, apparently. I need something to put it in. Slurpy, slurpy. Use the empty bottle with the saliva. There we go. Plant dribble. Heaven knows what I what use I'll find for it. How about the uh, witches? Hey, Adrian! Thank you for the host. I really don't have no idea why it does that, like the triple notification. I thought it was the auto host uh, screwing it up on Streamlabs and I turned it off, but apparently not. It's just the Streamlabs being all wonky. So how about we give uh, the saliva to them? No way, what if I need it later? Nobody's going to voluntarily drink this stuff. So I use the plant dribble with the sprayer. I guess it's for the goblins then. Not really sure what the plant dribble will do to the goblins, but I guess we're gonna find out. Don't worry kid, we'll get to you eventually. Use the dribble in the gooblet. I wonder what the dribble will really do to them. I don't remember. I'm very... I'm sure it won't be good for them. Oh, 
All right, let's try to get in then again. Hey! How many times is we having to tell you? We're getting lost. I'll be get. I'll get Henry the. I'd better be going then. Don't forget to have a drink before you go to sleep. Hardy har har. Did that taste funny to you? It was. Not way. I wonder how that could have happened. So it makes them fall asleep heavier. An elf, huh? What kind of an elf? He fancies himself. Oh. That kind of an elf. He's got a mirror. Narcissus, is that you? Alright, mate. Oh, a human. How simply barbaric. You what? Still, anything has to be better than those repulsive goblins. They make one stomach turn. And as for the ogres, well... Um... And just look at my nails. I haven't had a manicure in days. How is one supposed to live in these conditions? Well... It simply is quite repulsive. Look, I... When was the last time you had a bath? I'm more into the natural thing. Oh, how repulsive! Keep away from me, you filthy beast! What are you on? We elves will not lower ourselves into converse with filthy humans. You're an elf? Can't you tell? Has one been in this vile cesspit? I know what you mean. It's quite diabolical. What would you humans know about it? You're all filthy, smelly, sweaty creatures anyway. And none of you know how to make a decent pair of shoes. Oh yeah, I forgot that all elves are shoemakers. I have a shop nearby where I keep my equipment. I usually carry mine around with me. What a typically revolting car. Anyway, I was wondering if you could do me one a service. One would be honored to assist you, O oh noble elf. What would I why I would like you to do is this. Could you find some perfume for one? It may help alleviate the smell somewhat. What do I get in return? I have this piece of wood. Just what I've always wanted. Where do I sign? I want something feminine. Chanel Lesenko would suit one nightly. Here's my old bottle so you can get the right one. What you want? Harry! One doesn't think one can stand it much longer. Sure, one doesn't think that one should be calling oneself one all the freaking time. One thinks it gets annoying fast. Simon has cleaning magic. Surely this is the perfect situation. Now it's only drying magic, not cleaning magic. Although he did clean himself from the mud. Although I think that is also drying magic. So let's take a look at the big tent. Not pick it up. Look at it. I think that's the tent I landed in earlier. Open it. That's a bit of a balmy notion. We got food rations, apparently. It's instant food. Just add water. Caution, food expands when rehydrated. Oh, really? That gives me an idea. A very nasty idea. <laughs> what else do we have here? Pepper. 
I can't stand pepper. Pepper is not for everybody. I like pepper. A little bit of it on steaks and such. Even on potatoes. It goes well with potatoes. Excuse me. I bet some stuff. I see some, some stuff. You go first. I get two fives. You go. I get two sixes. I win. You will not play fair. You always is getting two sixes. That's because I is better than you is. I can roll dice better. You is cheating with cheaty dice. I know, I know want to play with you no more. You is calling me cheat? You is requesting my honesty? No, I is always saying you is honestly a scobble. This time I bet two some stuff. I see your two some stuff. They are good in English is to be it, because English is to language. Pepper was very prized in ye olden days. It was a common spice to good, do trade with. I'm not gonna go any further. They might hurt me. And besides, I'm on a mission. A mission from an elf, of all things. And also I've got some other stuff to take care of, like the monster kid, or whatever kid it is. This freak. So how about we give him some food, shall we? After he drank that whole... Get your laughing gear from this. Let's see what happens. Yep. Anyone fancy going bowling? Hardy har har har. At least we get the magnifying glass. It makes things bigger. No, it makes things look bigger. There's a difference. If it would make them bigger, I would be using a magnifying glass all the time. If you know what I mean. Can we move him, actually? I don't think moving people about is going to achieve much. Well, at least the kid should be not hungry anymore. Can I use the pepper on him to make them sneeze so he goes away? Apparently not. It's worth a shot. So now that I've got the magnifying glass... No idea. An empty perfume bottle. Maybe we need to get the pepper to the witches to help them with their concoctions. Will this help? Apparently not. I better find some way of helping them make this potion. I don't even know what potion we're making! We never talked about it. Can I use the pepper in the perfume bottle? No. Make some pepper spray. Can I give them the cat back? Because I don't need it. Maybe I do need it for later. I still don't know what kind of potion we're trying to make with the witches because we never talked about it. Kind of skipped it, I guess. Well... Where in the world is uh, Carmen Diego? San Diego. Diego? Carmen... Carmen something. Never played those games. I have never actually played any Carmen San Diego game. So can we use the soda in the perfume bottle? Yep. 
I've filled the perfume bottle with soda. Put some pepper in there. That doesn't work. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. How about a bland dribble? Well, we got soda in there. Let's pick up another soda. You know, you never know when you might need a good soda. You remember playing a bit of that on Genesis? Which one? World? Time? Europe? There were many of Carmen San Diego games. San Diego. That doesn't really work, Chase, when you say it out loud. Otherwise, not, a, not bad of a joke. Yeah, way back. Yeah, they're old games. They're done in the 90s. Ah, it was the world. The toughest one, as far as I know. And actually, the time one is the toughest one. Because you have to get the year exactly. So, how about I give you your perfume bottle back? Here you are. Oh, thank you. This isn't perfume. What's going on? Just my little joke. Apparently that was all it was, just a joke, full of soda. Well, let's go see these two idiots here. Apparently they're so into their game that they didn't even notice Simon walking past. That's quite the entrance to a tunnel. Scary. Where the hell do you think you're going? I, um... I hope you wasn't planning on sneaking into the boss's fortress. That sort of thing can be very bad for you. You can lose the removal of bits. Usually important bits. Extremely hot bass in molten lava are also an option. I think we're getting off on the wrong trotter. I'd like to know we're not violent by nature. Which is, of course, a total lie. However, we have occasionally been known to indulge in fits of uncontrollable sadism. Usually when we make weak jokes at our expense. And sometimes just for the fun of it. This means that it's your cue to leave. You may go in peace, or in pieces. It's your decision, really. I've just remembered. I'm here on important business. Are you the decorator? Uh, yes? Where's your sample catalog? The boss said you'd be bringing a catalog of samples with you. I, uh, left it at home. You better go get it then. Um, okay. So they bought it, then I'm a good, I'm some kind of an interior decorator. Just gotta get a catalog now. Hi, Phyllis. What you want, you but scum? Yeah, scum. I'm just a humble wizard on my way somewhere. I hate wizards. Wizards is scum. Yeah, and since you is human, wizard, you is double scum. I didn't come here to be insulted. You has got no choice. Yeah, scum. Sold the pair of you. <laughs> That's all they do, they just... <laughs> I know that in every game that you ever play with goblins in them, the goblins are idiots, but that... Those guys take the cake. They just insult Simon and then continue their game. 
I mean, I'm sure they know that they're supposed to pummel humans, but they just don't care. <laughs> <sighs> so how do I get perfume for our elf friend? Actually, I have an idea. <laughs> you is double scum, trademark. I have an idea, so let's see if this works. I'll give the magnifying glass to her. So she can see. Hey! Talking to me? There's this way a bit more. Any better? Yeah, give this a try. Damn. Hey, I can see. Now you take the toad with me. Shut up, you stupid old hag. It should be alright if you are careful with it. It's still not good though. It's just a shame the recipe calls for three witches. Very illustrated. So they all need help. We need to get some hearing aid for her. And some teeth for her. Can I get the pepper to this witch now? Apparently not. Highly academic goblins would be a nice change, or maybe just lacking student goblins then. Teenage goblins with no attitude, with attitude problems. That would be something interesting to see. Like they don't want to go to the goblin academy, instead... Hipster goblins. That's what we need. Hipster goblins. They're supposed to be going to the Goblin Academy to learn how to maim and murder, but instead all they want to do is art and listen to music all day long. So... I saw you put some teeth into your mouth. Why would a carnivorous plant want that? You never know! Use the pepper on the cat? I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. Use the perfume bottle on the plant? Use the pepper with the pepper. Use the cat with the plants? Again? That it just pulls the teeth out from inside its mouth. Well, you're still cruel by holding the cat from the bottom of its tail. Not, you know, the right way. Using it, holding it from the, the scruff of its neck. That's how you carry a cat. To keep it calm. Simon needs to learn how to control cats. <sighs> I'm running, really running out of ideas here. I think I'm gonna leave this here. And continue next week. It's a good place to stop. This game is a lot longer than I expected, actually. I thought it wouldn't be this long, but... It actually is. A lot longer. It's a bigger game than the first game was. So much more to do. As we have witnessed. But yeah. We'll continue from here. Hopefully we can finish the game next Tuesday. Well, maybe not, maybe not hopefully, but we'll see. Maybe it will happen. But thank you everybody for joining the live stream. Hopefully I had a good time. 
and hopefully you, you were entertained by the game and its weirdness. It's got a lot of weird humor in it. But then again, that's what they aim for, to make it a lot more crude and rude. Tons of references to stuff. Interestingly enough. But now, yeah, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys Sunday. For more, well, we'll see what I will play. I'm not really sure. Commodore 64 or Amiga. But until then, you guys take care of yourselves. And remember, uh, goblins are idiots. That's pretty much what I got out of this. So I'll see you guys around. Bye. Thank you.